Oh, come on. Take all this stuff. What is this? A cat in my goddamn way. That's what it is. I swear to God. Guild of Zeros. Hmm. <sighs> Let's see. I actually would like to stop now, but since we're kind of in the middle of a quest, I don't know how it would deal with that, so... Yeah. I really dislike games where you're not 100% sure. Like, can I leave now, or is it gonna screw the quest up? Like, am I going to fight that guy again? Maybe if I zone... I don't know. What I'll do is I'll zone to the next area. And if it looks like it saves, I'll, I'll quit out. Worst case scenario, I can uh, I can take that guy again. It's not like we had a lot of progress since then. I'll do it at off camera. I won't make you guys suffer through it again. Roll Witchwood Stones. Okay, I didn't see that it was saving. Hero save. Yeah, I think it's considering us in the middle of a quest. So let's go ahead and just finish this thing. Because I think when when you can save it normally, it will say like world save. But since we're considered to be in the middle of a quest, it won't. Let me do it, I suppose. Hello. I only open to those who know my name. If you know it, find and heat the magic stones to spell it out. Uh, I remember this quest. Only one person knows my name, but I doubt you'll find him even at the Temple of Avar. This is an interesting localization type issue. Or maybe it's not just localization. But I'll explain a bit more once we get there, and it will make more sense. Alright, fishy. All right, so it seems like right off the bat, you never want to hit it too hard, if you know what I mean. See? God damn it. See, I'm clicking so fast, I don't really know... Like, by the time I recognize that it stopped, I can't stop... Just can't stop the clicking. Because I can't stop until I got enough. All right, so when it very first shows up, you kind of tap it. Because he's going to reel. God fucking damn it. Fine, I won't click as fast. I wish it was just a deal where you held the damn line in instead of clicking it. Because my 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 inclination is to click it incredibly quick. To pull it in faster. But I have to click intentionally click slower because I know if I click too fast, that'll happen. And it's more of a slow and steady wins the race type deal. Until I get close and then I spam it. It's close enough to I can even if he pulls, I'm probably okay. Silver key, nice. Another silver key. We're doing pretty good on silver keys, I think. I feel like we are. Is that a chest over there? Or is that a... Oh, it looks like a log. Alright. Ooh, hell yeah. Screw you, barrels. But, uh, yeah, after this quest, we'll definitely go back and level up as well. Ooh, hello. Break these plants. I'm thinking hiding behind these thorny bushes is going to keep me from stealing your chest. You're crazy. Obsidian Great Hammer. Probably not better than what I have. Oops. Ha ha, though. Ha ha, indeed. Weapons. Right now we have the Cutlass Blue Tame. Uh, 165, and it's got a Lightning Aug. Wait, heavy. Oh, I think that means I need certain strength to wield it. But my current sword is better anyway, so... So, to that I say, indeed. Okay, so this is where the stones are that he was referencing, that we have to guess his his name. H. So you have an H, S. an S, I, I D. and a D. Actually, it, it, all right, it sounds like maybe they fixed it or something, but it seems like when I played this before or I watched somebody else play it, when he says T as in tango, it sounds exactly like he's saying D for dog or delta. Chainmail gauntlets, nice. Let's check that real quick. 
Ha ha! I can't hit stop myself. Uh, accident was an accident. All right, so we're wearing the. I wish it indicated what you were wearing because I can't remember. Dark leather. We'd gain ch uh, armor rating. Uh, we'd be a little on plus alignment. Um, I'm kind of okay with that. Like, there's only plus two on the alignment modifier. For 17 more AC. Eh, you know what? Nah, we're fine. Who needs AC? That's for, for wusses. Ain't nobody got time for positive alignments. Wait, this is where we want to go. What? Oh, okay, this is the Temple of Avo. The gold it's showing is just the door itself. Fair enough. Now, I already know what his name is, right? And knowing what the letters are, it's not too hard to figure out the possible names. I can only have so many different names here. Uh, okay. Go this way. Anything over here? Oh, there's a person. Hello, person. Put my weapon up. Hello. Are you interested in hearing the name of the demon door? Sure. If you can give me something valuable, I might tell you it. Something red and shiny, for example. Okay. Otherwise, you'll just have to work it out for yourself. Um. Come on. I can... Okay, so I think to give an item, we have to give me a gift, Ruby, and we're going to go ahead and give it to him. Use. I know the okay. doll's secret name. It's Hits. H-I-T-S. I thought his name was Shit. Oh, your name is Shit, mate. Need a good sword to fight beside you. Nah. Good day, I taught you though. If you need someone to fight evil by your side, I'm your man. Oh, well, you're definitely not my man then. I, I will not hire you. Very well. You know where to find me if you change your mind. I sure theoretically do. I've never actually hired a mercenary to work with me in this game. Damn, another resurrection file. We're doing pretty good on those. I forget where you can actually see those at. To the temple of light. Oh. This is where my people come to worship me. Perhaps you will join them. Their donations will ensure my continued blessings. Uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I wonder if to give a donation to Scorn or this temple. Oh, see, hmm, I can just give this one money. But this one, the other temple didn't give me that option. Hmm, I have to double check it later, maybe. Hello. Hello. Returning devotees will receive the gifts of the heavens. Okay. Morality awaits those who donate. Yeah. Cleanse your sins with the soft, supple feel of Dala Dala Bills, y'all. All right, we'll check up here, see what else we can find. So yeah, I, maybe, I don't know, it wasn't giving me the option to give money, so maybe they don't take money, maybe they only take souls. Yes, you get uh, hernia there. Have you heard the legend of this sword? A knight of the old kingdom called Hugh wielded a sword like no other. He was a giant. The sword cut through monsters, people, and demons, like parchment. It possessed power, power that mortals could not control. Dying, Hugh thrust it into the living rock from which it could never be removed. Legend says that only somebody as strong as Hugh the Giant can remove it. Perhaps it's just an old wives' tale. Perhaps it's a fake. You incredible superlative prince amongst men. <laughs> what? Or a great man. Needless to say, we're probably not going to pull it. But we're gonna try it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh. You sure knew what he was doing. Better luck when you try next. <laughs> you should get some exercise. Beef yourself up a bit. Yeah, I think we have to get our strength skill up higher. Or maybe it's one of the things you can only get after the game's over. I'm not sure. Must have been a really powerful guy to get the sword stuck like that. <laughs> ah! We're trying to pull the sword from the stone, but we can't do it. Why don't you have a go? Ah! <laughs> Wait, hold on. 
Oh, what? Where's my... Where's my... Flex? Oh, screw it. Alright, let's get out of here. So yeah, I never did get that from my last playthrough, but I also played an archer then, so I didn't have a lot of strength. Strength. Need a good sword to fight beside you. No thanks. So let's go ahead and head back. I wonder if anything happens if you do spill shit. I think it should. Now, now, dirty gamer. So immature. It's fun to be immature sometimes. Well, let's be honest, a lot of times it's fun to be immature. Okie doke. I've already forgot what the letters are, though. That's S, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. That's T. I. S. H. D. I. S. H. So if we go. S. H. I. D. Wait for it. S. H. I. See, it even sounds like he's saying D there. No, no, you fuckhead. Who is that guard that follows me and keeps me up on the time? Seriously. There he is. Stop targeting the dead one. Prick. Werewolves in London. Alright, so I hit this one on accident. Can I unhit it? No. Oh, I guess we'll just have to, uh... So yeah, I think it sends werewolves if you keep missing it. So that basically keeps you from just guessing over and over. But like, when he's saying it, like, reading it back, it definitely sounds like D. Like, learn to speak English, you fucking British bastard. Alright. Uh, what was I gonna do? So S, so oh, it's H. Played for it. See? It sounds like he said D there. It's T. T, you British fucks. H I T. No, it sounds like T there. It's First off, before. S oh, wait. It wouldn't have been that hard to figure out, frankly. But before somebody gets their panties in a twist, first of all, I'm just kidding. Because some people don't understand sarcasm anymore, I swear to God. And secondly, seriously, British people, learn to pronounce the letter T. For God's sakes, what? It's bad, so, isn't it? You found me. That's just grand. If you can find me, so can they. I should never have started <laughs> that face. the focus sites. But how was I to know Jack was interested in them too? Yes, Jack of Blades. Look, I have no time to explain. You can read my journal if you want. I don't want it anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be off. It's not safe for me here anymore. Thanks to you. Prick. You're welcome, by the way. I guess. Probably should have found a better demon door to hide behind. Sweet. So we got a bunch. Uh, 12 gold. Zero extra gold. Renown, zero. Extra renown, 137. 800 experience. Nice. I want to, off-camera, go around and do the trophy thing to get some more renown. The archaeologist is alive. Mm, that's good. Thanks to you, I'm sure we can keep him safe. And you should return to the guild now. There's an important quest card waiting for you. It seems not hold Glaive is in some trouble. <laughs> Check the guild for more quests. Okay. I'm actually going to start writing these down, uh, these silver chests, so that I can remember which one is which. Oh, shit, all over the floor. Uh, and I actually need to run to the restroom, so just one second, I'll be right back. Okie doke. We're back. So how many of you folks are going to be playing the... the re-release, or the re-HD remake of Fable? Is it all of them, or is it just this one? I think it's just this one. That's coming to, uh, 360. A love story. Howl Tattoo. Ooh, that sounds nice. Creatures of Albion. The Sock Method. Uh... I don't know. 
How about that? That in the series of books that the stranger is also mentioned in. But uh, I'm curious how many of you are going to actually be picking up the 360 remake of this game. I will not be because I can't I can't uh, you know can't LP it or stream it due to uh, you know. Why can't I talk? Damn, resurrection file. Due to having no capture card, so unfortunately I will not be picking it up. Get not because it's not interesting, at least a little bit, but. And honestly, I don't really know if there'll be a point to replay it again when it's just an HD remake. I don't think they're adding a bunch to it. No, nothing interesting. Did I get his diary? But does, do you sure want to use it? No. I do not want to. So I guess he gave it to me. Yeah, I think he just gave it to me. I don't think I had to pick it up. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and head on back to the guild, I guess. Because we need to check the guild for more quests. Chapel of Scorn. I really want to check this Chapel of Scorn thing out. Oh, well. Let's head back to the guild. Heroes Guild. Yes. Teleportation system is pretty good in this, but man, the map. It feels like I'm constantly questioning myself, thinking, okay, there's got to be a way to just view the map. And there can, it cannot possibly be that they've set this up like this and thought this was totally okay that the map is a piece of shit like this. Like, move, like this is great. It's cool that you can see the various things and you can move over and it'll tell you where they are. But let me close it and then show the map, right? Uh, or like hit this maybe and have it hide. Not hide, just, oh God, that's so terrible. Anyway, let's go ahead and level up. So we have, damn, 19K general, 174 strength XP, uh, 70,000 skill and 2,000 will. Not too bad on the will XP actually. Let's check the will attack spells. Or wait, I think it's surround spells. Uh, slow time. How much did we need for that? 18,000? Yikes. For level 3? Higher level allows the caster to maintain the state for longer and bring the world nearly to a standstill. So, I would, damn, I would use like 16k of general. Let's wait on that because that is definitely secondary to our skill abilities. Accuracy, how much do we need? 81,000, holy shit. So we won't be getting that for a while. Speed would not hurt. Affects your agility in combat, gives you a better rate of fire with range and also more dexterity in melee combat. In melee. This I can see, it only going to cost us a thousand general. So let's go ahead and buy that. A little bit, I would like to actually, you know, keep our survivability at decent levels as well. Uh, toughness is 4,800. Especially these lower levels don't cost much. Physique, uh, see, with greater strength also comes the ability to wield heavy weapons. This one I'm not too worried about. I would like to get that sword eventually just for funsies. I don't know if we're going to have enough XP for it. So 13k for a health increased, or only 48 for a toughness, uh, which just lowers the amount of damage we take. So I think that would be pretty smart to get. And I think I mostly neglected these on my first playthrough, which I think is is pretty silly. I mean, it's it's nice to get your damage up really high, but having this, you know, extra toughness so you don't just immediately keel over the minute you get hit is also great. So both of these are going to level 5. One of these types costs 13k. The other one is 9,000. Toughness is 5. Or toughness is 9. And the health is 13.5. Well, 13.5 is just about how much XP we have left. So let's go ahead and get it. I want to get good survivability going. Especially when you're doing a Let's Play, I really like to get my survi survivability at a decent rate. Oops, I didn't want to leave it just yet. I want to get my survivability at a decent rate because it's not fun for you guys to watch me die over and over again. So, now what I think I might do is increase my mana, maybe. There's another spell that's good. Now, multi-arrow, you would think this would be a good one but it's at least first of all it's a spell once the spell is cast each arrow fire is magically transformed into a multiple multiple of lethal projectiles causing much greater damage higher levels generate even more arrows i tried this and i didn't like it because i don't think you can headshot with this 
So yeah, heal. Heal would actually not be a bad idea. Uh, unfortunately, it's alignment modifier. Uh, assassin rush would be okay if I was uh, melee berserker. The spell causes the caster sends the caster to hulking frenzy, increasing speed and strength, while conversely decreasing reason and civilized manners. Higher levels allow the caster to maintain even more powerful to maintain the state for longer. Speed and strength. Speed would be nice, but the strength really wouldn't be helpful for range. Hmm. Physical shield would be kind of nice. We remove the spells cast again. Oh, it's basically a mana shield. Absorb all damage at the expense of mana. Eh. Not for this build. Probably not. Attack spells. Let's see what we got. Fireball. Fireball. Battle charge. Not very useful for a range. I guess you could use it to get away. Spell abuse to use a blade with the ability to strike twice. See, I want something like that, but for bows. I don't think... I, I really don't think that... Uh, Infernal Wrath actually is supposed to be pretty good, I think. I think I've seen speedrunners use this, and it does a lot of damage. Uh, Inflame as well, I think. Yes, the AE ability. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I might look into this multi-arrow and see if it's worth it, but it seems like I remember buying this, and one, it doesn't go off your archery skills, I don't think. And two, I don't think you can do headshots with it. But I'll check into that. A little extra mana would be nice. It's only 500 for the first level. So, kind of silly not to pick it up. I'll go ahead and get the second level too. It's only 1200. So at least well, we can cast slow time a bit more often. Now it's starting to be 2800. Mm, I'd maybe rather ha start saving up. Uh, how much is, did I say slow time was? God, 18k. Insane. That is truly, truly crazy. Uh, drain life wouldn't be bad either since it's, uh, it does get better with my negative alignment. Let's summon. Summon wrenches a creature's soul from the netherworld to help the caster. The creature kills another, it is replaced by the soul of the newly fallen enemy. Higher levels allow the caster to keep this creature summoned along. That sounds pretty cool. I uh, probably won't get it though. You like that? That sounds really cool, but I'm not gonna get it. So anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for right now. Hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far. I know that I am. Uh, make sure to like my videos if you like them. It does help me out a lot. Leave comments. Let me know what you're thinking of this series so far. And if you're going to pick up the new Fable, well, HD remake, whatever it is. Follow me on Twitter and I'll see you next time.